When we're trying to work out the direction of interest rates, what does it mean from your perspective on tech valuations? Well, I, I think that um, obviously uh, tech valuations are likely to increase, particularly over a longer period of time. So, you know, I'm a tech bull over the next five to 10 years. I think a lot of the issues we're dealing with, like inflation, uh, are going to be solved through increased productivity. And mm -hmm. the answer to productivity are all these tech uh, companies and, and tech processes that are really going to help us become a lot more productive. So I think when interest rates were zero, people were willing to pay everything for growth. As interest rates have come up, uh, the valuations came down, but now you're actually seeing, I think we're getting towards the end of a cycle. So I, I expect that the valuations uh, will increase, particularly mm -hmm. because you have so many tailwinds with a lot of these tech strategies. So, you know, whether we're talking about AI or we're talking about electric vehicles uh, or we're talking about a pharma and you start to see the activity that's going on in the space, uh, I continue to be a tech bull. but. Yeah. Uh, I'm a tech bull over time. So I think if you think about the next three, five years, uh, we're going to have much higher valuations for these companies. OK, so you're liking perhaps an NVIDIA that has exposure both to the auto sector, but also the AI focus. Who, where are the companies, where are the opportunities that you think if you're going to allocate money now, you should be buying? Well, I think there's a lot more opportunity actually in the private space than in the public space. Mm. And I think when you think about the public space, we have 5,000 companies, right? When you think about the private space, you have a million companies. And I think the opportunity in the public space is going to be because the public companies are buying these private companies to actually be able to have access to these technologies. And so when you look at a Pfizer buying CGen, or you think about uh, Google's investments or Microsoft's investments in AI, um, I think that, that that's where you're going to see the growth. But obviously, I think the opportunity is much greater in the private space. Mel, uh, we think about inflation, we think about the Fed, but I'm looking at some of the movers in the market and earnings is still such a big driver of, of individual share moves, particularly in the technology sector. There's, there's a discussion to be had around how the rest of the, the year looks to tech and whether they're recalibrating the strength of the economy. You saw Mark Zuckerberg cite the sort of longevity of headwinds that his company faces in the economy. Do you think we need to think again when it comes to earnings expectations? Yes, because, and I think that's why you're seeing the layoffs in the tech companies, because a lot of the growth had to do with number of subscribers or new customers, new markets that were opening up. And because I think a lot of these companies actually have huge market share, the name of the game is not going to be how many new subscribers or how many new clients. It's going to be how can you actually change your business model to create prop more profitability. So whether you're looking at a Facebook or, uh, or you're looking at any of the media companies, I think the name of the game has changed. Um, I think what people are really looking for is profits and higher margins. Mel, you are the former CEO of J.P. Morgan's private bank. What have you made? of the last five days in the banking sector, particularly in how it's hit tech? Well, I mean, obviously, I think um, from the perspective of J.P. Morgan, it, it's been like a birthday party because everybody has tried to take their money out of the banks, out of the other banks, and put them primarily in J.P. Morgan. Um, so I, I think that's good news for, for J.P. Morgan. In terms of the tech sector, I think when it comes, for example, to the venture space, I think we're going to I think we're going to see uh, maybe lower valuations, which is actually a great opportunity for venture investors. I think what's so interesting, and particularly Caroline, is how we're threading what's happening with SVB to mm -hmm. what's happening in the global economy. The commonality appears to be that tech companies of all sizes are under duress. Yeah. Largely because interest rates are having to go up. They're having to think about costs, and that means people. And Mel, it also means people who are managing these businesses. You're someone who not only was a very senior at J.P. Morgan and now running your own money in this respect for family offices, but you're also someone who's on the board of Coca-Cola and Disney. What do you make of executive oversight here and board oversight? I think, I think board oversight has never, um, has never been more uh, important. And I think that uh, especially issues like cybersecurity, for example, 
um, are more important than ever. And I think that the kind of credentials that you need to be able to have and the kind of work that you need to be able to do to serve on these boards has increased dramatically.